Hey everybody, it's Melanie coming to you from the Outer Banks, North Carolina, and I just had to talk to a beautiful family from Poland and tell them about my journey. So now I'm going to tell you guys, um, I've been so guided lately, but um, Chris and I are separating. And before all of you go, oh no, it's so sad, blah, 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 that sucks, we thought you were doing well, Adria. Um, <laughs> We have been talking about this for three weeks now, and some things have come up to push us in this direction. And I've been pushed off my skateboard every Monday for the last three weeks because I was living in resistance with myself as to what needed to happen, and I didn't want to travel because I wasn't ready. And yesterday, it was the final shove out the door, <laughs> and now I am on the road. I'm going on a spiritual journey. Um, Thank you to Monkey Mike on Instagram in New Hampshire who enlightened my soul back um, at the full moon in June. And it just, of course, was the full moon. It always happens that way, you know. And um, I can't stop smiling because I'm really excited now. I was really scared last night, but I told myself it's okay to be scared because it's all going to work out and the universe has a plan for you. And then I was enlightened this morning as to what that plan was and I'm so excited for what my journey entails and I'm so excited to see where this goes and I just want it the girls are going to be okay Chris is going to be okay we are both going to be just fine and the universe has aligned this so that this couldn't happen I have manifested so many things for my family that they needed to have and it's all just coming to play it's all just happening and I never thought that that would be the case. Um, I lived in pain and suffering for basically 32 years of my life. A lot of it was mental pain. Um, a lot of it was mental illness and psychosis. And a lot of it was physical pain. Um, I experienced many painful falls from horse horses and was in a very acidic and toxic state with my body and my mind. And that doesn't help your healing process. Um, but yeah, like this, my life forever changed. My life forever changed the day I went vegan. That's number one. Um, thank you to Mitzi Major for encouraging me to take this route because I never would have made these choices and decisions and done what I'm doing now had it not been for her and me smoking cigarettes and pot on the back porch and having a blast and laughing away life. Um, Thank you to my family for always still being a part of my family. And I could not share this with anyone from my family because I didn't want anyone's opinions or judgments to sway what I was thinking. I needed to finally listen to my higher self and to do what needed to be done. Um, the handful of people that do know, you know because we love you and you're a part of our lives. And if I've talked to you about talking to you, it was because I was gonna come tell you these things. Um, I don't wanna hide it anymore, and I know that I'm meant to share this journey. I know that I am meant to bring some kind of light to so many people's lives, and I feel like I'm going to work. I'm going to go serve others and brighten people's lives and show as many people as I can how to eat healthier along the way. And I don't even want anything from it. I'm just going to make journals and sell them along the way as I go for 30 bucks a piece. So if you want one, let me know. Um, and uh, I'm going to see you know, where it all takes me. I've got a rental car from Enterprise, and I don't care that I'm paying money like that to drive. I have a substantial amount of debt that I'm unable to pay off as I've been a stay-at-home mom for the last couple years now, almost two years. And we were really poor with our finances before, um, and we've learned not to be. Um, and we've had a gift of abundance. So I don't care the price. I'm willing to pay it. And that way I have freedom and money is just energy. And the more I let it go, the more I can take in what I need. And two weeks ago, my car died. Um, we ran out of gas in it twice because the gas gauge was broken. And um, I got this little rental car or this little rental truck from Enterprise. And it's a little Nissan Frontier, I think. 
And I kept saying, God, I love this little truck. Like I could live in this truck. I could just go and drive in this truck. And I kept saying it and it's happening. <laughs> I shit you not, it's happening. So um, I'm hitting up Virginia Beach tomorrow. I'm getting my hair done. I am hitting up Durham on Saturday. I am hitting up um, Greensboro on Sunday. I am hitting up Asheville on Monday, Tennessee on Tuesday. And I'm gonna fucking go and see where this journey takes me. So if you would like me to come visit you and you're not some creepy pervert sending me dick pics, fucking stop it. And I'm sending them to all of my friends. So you send me a dick pic, it's like the Oprah show. You get a dick pic, you get a dick pic, everybody gets a dick pic. Stop it, don't send me dick pics because I send them to everybody. I shame you, don't worry about it. Um, and then you get blocked. But um, if you are a friend and I've known you over the past 33 years it's gonna be, I have a birthday August 26th. Um, and I turned 33 and the number synchronicities that I've been seeing now that I'm on this journey, um, mind blowing, but 33 to me is a huge year and I'm, it's, I'm so excited. <laughs> so if you want me to come see you, if you want me to come and hang out and just have a good time, I'm no longer that angry person that I was in the past. I am no longer that angry vegan person and I've lived that life and it's not for me anymore. If you want help, I will help you. But if you have no interest in changing, I don't care, that's your choice. I would still love to see you, give you a hug, tell you I love you, that our paths crossed for a reason a long time ago and that they're supposed to cross again. And whatever I'm there to do to help you through whatever situation, that's my calling. So I wanna wish you all a lot of peace, a lot of love and a lot of namaste. I am hitting the road with my guitar, with my skateboard, with my surfboards, and I'm gonna go and see what happens. Probably should get a surfboard bag for my blue board, but I'm gonna probably fix up my mandala on there. It's all changing. Bring a little bit of the past with me and add a lot more to the future. <sighs> I can't stop smiling. All right, and my foot, it freaking kills. I'll show you guys. I took off so much skin. Ooh, it's like stuck in the, I was trying to pull this up like that, but that didn't work out too well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my foot. I've been putting on coconut oil and um, tea tree and lavender. And so that's four ounces of coconut oil. I guess I could take that off my foot. Four ounces of coconut oil, 10 drops of tea tree, 10 drops of lavender. That is the recipe for Mel's Magic Dip Dip. You guys can do it yourselves. If you want to solidify it, you can add a type of like soy wax compound um, so that it doesn't melt in the car. But if you keep it in a cool location, um, you can keep it in the fridge, you can keep it on your counter. Um, just apply it to everything from diaper rashes to shit like that and it will disinfect and heal it and it will soothe it and make it feel good. Um, and you don't have to buy that Neosporin shit, it's filled with animal products. Anyways, that's my little tip of the day. I have so many more tips coming because I'm kind of excited how it's all piecing together and like all the connections are clicking as to what I need to do next. Um, so yeah, I follow me. Follow me at Naked Lady Mandalas on Instagram. And Facebook, I don't want to use my personal page anymore. Um, maybe I will just to share what I'm doing. I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I'm not on Facebook to look at it. I, it's not for me. But I'll share it so you guys can keep following. Uh, I had somebody tell me today that I was their hero. And I was skateboarding up a big hill and um, getting ready to go down it. And she goes, I just started skateboarding six months ago. And I love it. But I'm so scared. And she, you're my hero. And I said, I just started last November, but we just gotta let go and have some fun and see where it takes us. And she was so excited, I told her to follow me. So it was a pleasure to meet you today. I don't think I caught your name, but um, much love to you. And I wish everybody the best. <sighs> the love shining from my heart right now. And the smile on my face. I've never smiled like this. My cousin asked me why I was grumpy in high school. <laughs> Cause I was grumpy. All right, peace out guys.